Morning, fuckers. <laughs> Newsman again. Uh, I know it's, uh, I don't know, I've been kind of hit and miss lately. Uh, when I do these, uh, start off doing it every day, and realized the headlights don't really change that much from day to day. It's all the same shit. And not just the same kinds of headlines. Literally the same fucking stories. They still got the one on uh, uh, on USA Today about what happens if you don't shower for a year. How are people not figuring that out? You know, I what was it the uh, was it the Elizabethan era or the Victorian era, where they just kept adding more and more fucking layers of makeup, and uh, people would brag how long it's been since they bathed. Ugh, that was a gross time. And guess what? People were dropping like flies. Life expectancy was very young. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's gross. Anyway, we're going to jump into some uh, CNN here. See what we got on the old, uh, I don't know, website. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, first picture that, that I notice is this goofy looking ginger. <laughs> Police sergeant. Uh, holding up a, a dead coyote. Uh, it says, a mother and kid were attacked by a coyote, then police shot the animal dead. I'm guessing the coyote thought that the kid was a roadrunner. Tried to drop an anvil on him, but the kid was all, meep, meep. And off he went. Police shot him. Now, <clears throat> on the surface, you would think, yeah, it's their job. Why is this a story? Police protecting people. No shit. It's, it's what we pay them for. But guess what? It's not. Nope. Supreme Court has ruled that the police have no obligation, legal or otherwise, to protect anybody. The car says on it. Most police cars will say to serve and protect. No. Supreme Court says they don't have to protect shit. Their function is is to enforce the laws of the municipality, which is a city, and county, or the state that employs them. That's it. That's all they're legally obligated to do. This came out after the, uh, <clears throat> what was it, the Parkland? Actually, I think it was before that. I don't know, some lawsuit where say, ah, the police didn't protect us and people got killed. Well, they're not required to. Legally, they don't have to protect you. It, it's been <laughs> written up to the Supreme Court. And they said, no, they don't have to protect you. It's not their job. Even though it says it on the side of their car. It doesn't matter. Their legal obligation is to enforce the laws of the city, county, or state that employs them. That's it. That's all they're required to do. So, if you think the police are going to protect you, nope. You're just a legal liability. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's see. What else do we got here? So, yeah. A cop shot a coyote. Okay. I mean, good for him going that's above and beyond what he's legally required to do or legally obligated but still 99% of people are gonna think well that's his job right I would hope that any passerby with a gun uh, sees a mother and child being attacked by a Cody Cody <laughs> like fucking Cody that son of a bitch fuck you Cody stop attacking women and children no, coyote. <laughs> oh, classic. All right. Uh, what else we got? Body of a seven-year-old found in the desert. Now, <clears throat> on the surface, that sounds terrible. Seven-year-old, that's, that's awful. Doesn't say seven-year-old what? Doesn't say human child. Could have been a... You know, a, a species of desert turtle that only lives six years. So the fact that they found the body of a seven-year-old tortoise out in the desert, 
that's big news because they only live six years. Uh, most tortoises, I think, live longer than that. They, they get to be fucking old, but I don't know. I haven't read every biology textbook, so I, I don't know if there's a species of desert tortoise that uh, maybe it was a, a sea turtle, a seven-year-old sea turtle that they found in the desert. Now, why the fuck was a sea turtle out in the desert? I don't know. Could have been a, a seven-year-old fucking T-Rex. It doesn't say it was like a child. It's implied, but it doesn't really say. So I don't know if I should be upset about that or not. Then we got, oh, this one's fucking genius. Baby dies after he's cut from mom's womb. Yeah, that's an abortion. And typically the child dies. That's kind of the whole point of the thing. To murder children. I don't see why they seem surprised about that. And this is CNN. Uh, uh, here's some... Uh, under the know where you're wanted. Yeah, usually it's mom's house. Usually, some people are pieces of shit and even their moms don't want them there. But, on the whole, you could probably say one place that you know you're gonna be wanted is at mom's house. Mom, love you. Dad, love you too. You guys are both awesome. <clears throat> so yeah, I know where I'm wanted. Downstairs, in the kitchen, <laughs> when my son's hungry, because he's too lazy to feed himself. That little shit. He'll literally, if I'm, you know, in the downstairs, uh, in the downstairs family room, watching TV, or just, you know, reading in my lazy boy. He'll come from his room at one end of the house, right? Comes down the hall, past the dining room through the kitchen, has to pass, go past the kitchen to the family room. So he's in the kitchen, and then he'll leave the kitchen. <laughs> so he's already walked all the way to the kitchen, and then he'll go past it to ask me for something to eat. It's like, dude, retrace your steps. Just take 10 steps backwards. There, you're in the kitchen. Turn your head. Place is full of food. That's how kitchens work, right? You know, go to the fridge, get out sandwich fixings, open the bread drawer, make a fucking sandwich. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We even got, uh, I know, it's terrible. But, uh, you know, I, I, I keep some of the, the, the microwavable, like, snack foods, uh, like the little White Castle burgers, you know? You get a two-pack, you fucking open one end, you break them apart, toss in the microwave for one minute. You just push the one-minute button. It has a minute plus. You just go boop, and each time you hit that, it adds a minute. So you just hit it one fucking time. Stand there like a dope for 60 seconds. Microwave goes beep. You open the fucking door. You pull them out. Tear open a plastic, put them on a plate, add a little bit of ketchup. Fucking eat it. It's not that hard. He's 15. Now I just let him go hungry. Because I've shown him many, 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 many times how to fix food. He's actually a decent cook. Right? So he can cook. I've taught him how to cook many, many things. Grilled cheese sandwiches. He makes a good grilled cheese sandwich. But we do it cheap. We don't get out the skillet or the frying pan or whatever and, you know do it on the stove. Oh man, you put two pieces of toast, two pieces of bread in the toaster. Yeah. You don't have to worry about burning your grilled cheese. Because, you know, like most people, you set your toaster, you figure out where the setting is to exactly how you like your toast, and you leave it there for the end, you know, until the end of time or until the toaster explodes and you have to get a new one and start the process over again. But, 99% of people already have their toaster. They figured out the settings that makes the perfect toast to their specific tastes. So you make your toast, which is easy. You put the bread in, you eh, put the thing down. We have a toaster oven, so you open the door, push the button, select toast. Not that hard. 
comes out of the toaster or the toaster oven, right? You butter one side of each piece of toast. You flip it, butter side down. Put a piece of cheese on one, boom, you make your sandwich. Put it in a microwave for about, uh, I always do 17 seconds, because the numbers are in the same column. To melt the cheese, boom, you got a perfect grilled cheese sandwich. And you don't have to clean up a frying pan or anything like that. Quick and easy, super easy cheaters grilled cheese. But the toast comes out perfect every time. Why? Because you have your toaster setting set for the perfect fucking toast. <clears throat> so it ain't that hard. And he loves grilled cheese sandwiches. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. Who the fuck doesn't like a grilled cheese sandwich? Probably the communists. It's the Russians. The Russians are colluding against their grilled cheese sandwiches. Ah, fuck. God damn it, I hate when the news pages refresh like that. Anyway, look at this. I'm 11 minutes in. I haven't gotten off CNN yet. Anyway, let's do a couple of quick ones. Uh, Colorado has now made more than a billion dollars from pot sales. Huh. Go figure. Oh, and the TSA now permits epilepsy drug containing cannabis. How nice of the TSA to allow us our fucking medication. What the fuck is wrong with them? Say, so, oh, you have a... You got a prescription for some epilepsy medication? Well, what's in it? Because as the, the TSA, the guys who pat you down at the airport, we're only going to allow certain kinds of epilepsy medications. You criminal fucks. What the fuck are the TSA? <clears throat> that's, a use, that's an illusion of safety. So many stories about people who've gotten on planes with fucking guns and knives and fucking grenades. Going through the TSA. Ugh. Alright. Speaking of TSA, let's move on to USA today. Uh, Dominican Republic. Influencers detail dangerous trip. I don't know what the fuck that's about. It sounds stupid. Influencers taking a trip. Fuck them. Think for yourself. Don't let any influencers influence you. Ooh, how did Saturn get its rings? Jupiter proposed. Not that hard to figure out. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, where was that one? I saw one where it said uh, two recent high school grads uh, killed after being struck by lightning. That's usually what happens when you get struck by lightning. Um, it's, it, it's, you know, it's the exception to the rule where you get struck by lightning and don't die. Right? Those are the guys that usually make the news. You know? Uh, they had a guy that was, like, struck by lightning three times. Not on the same day. Not like, zip, zip, zip. But like, oh, fuck, oh, that sucked. <clears throat> and then like a year later, oh, fuck, really, again? And then like two years after that, what the fuck, man? Enough. God damn it. And that's why I don't go outside if, it's, if, if there's like lightning going on. Um, I got a bunch of uh, <laughs> bolts and rods in my spine that I'm pretty sure would act like a lightning rod if I went outside in a fucking lightning storm. So, yeah, not gonna do it. Ooh, if you see square waves in the ocean, get out of the water immediately. Yeah, because you got two different uh, wave sets crossing each other, and it creates these weird kind of square, like a checkerboard pattern. Um, and it's usually an indication that something very bad is about to happen. But, what if you're not, like, close to the shore? What if you're on a fucking ship <laughs> out in the middle of the Pacific, a couple thousand miles away from any landfall, and all of a sudden there's square waves? Ah, you're fucked, that's what. Or you get out the fucking 
the life rings and you, I don't know, play tic-tac-toe on the ocean. <laughs> uh, I wonder if those are like dual colored, like orange on one side, white on the other. That would help keep track of, of, of who who's. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Donald Trump calls Joe Biden a dummy as he heads to Iowa. I don't know. I think that's kind of accurate. I don't, I don't think it's... I don't know that that should be a news story. I don't think it should. I don't think it should. Just because, oh, God damn you, don't call me when I'm doing this shit. Now you made my fucking phone all wiggly. Fuckers. It's all telemarketers anyway, and fucking bot calls. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, 50 years after Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong's son, his son, who was probably just a little kid 50 years ago, and wasn't there, describes the day... Oh, sons, this is a plural. Still, weren't there. But they're describing the day their dad walked on the moon. What the fuck are they going to describe That that's actually going to be interesting? I mean, I guess from, a, I don't know, from some certain standpoints, a humanitarian standpoint, ooh. Well, dad walked on the moon, what were you doing? Uh, let's see. I was six. So I got up, and I had some Lucky Charms. And then I went outside and played with my friends. When it started getting dark and the streetlights came on, I went home. That's how we used to do it. Be home when the streetlights turn on. <clears throat> That's when dinner is. I know some of you fuckers remember that. Actually, probably all of you, because uh, according to YouTube, uh, the only people that watch my videos are uh, age, what is it, 45 to 54? Males. So you guys know. You're old. Like me. I'm old. And that's okay. It means we survived all that shit. Anyway, yeah, so the kids are describing the day that dad did something that they weren't there for because he was over 200,000 miles away. I mean, what the fuck? It's like my kid describing what I did in the Marine Corps. He wasn't even born yet. But I guess he's heard, uh, he's probably heard enough stories. He could probably describe very accurately. Dems draw lopsided debate nights. Alright. Does that mean there's like half really fat people and half really skinny people and they, they put them on opposite ends of the stage and one side sagged a bit and made it lopsided or what What the fuck? Ah, there it is. Two Pennsylvania high school grads die after being struck by lightning, officials say. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Well, all right. Well, this one makes more sense. Uh, same headline as as the other, with the uh, the baby cut from uh, cut from the womb. Slightly more detail in this one. The other one was a, like a no shit kind of moment. Uh, this one says, um, "Baby cut from slain Chicago woman's womb." dies. So, pregnant lady got killed. In Chicago. Ooh. Go figure. It's fucking Wild West there. And they got some of the strictest gun laws in the country and one of the highest fucking murder rates and gun violence uh, accounts in the country. No correlation there, right? Must need more gun laws. That the criminals ignore. So it makes them criminals, you dumb fucks. We need more gun laws. 
criminals are ignoring our laws. We need more of them. You know, to disarm the fucking law-abiding citizens. Fuck you. Every fucking gun law on the book is unconstitutional. If you actually read what the Constitution says. All right? And don't give me this shit. Oh, it's only for the militia. The people are the militia. If you read the Federalist Papers, it goes into great detail on how the people are the militia. And the Supreme Court has upheld that the Second Amendment is an individual right, not a militia right, because it doesn't say the right of the militia to keep and bear arms. It says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's very fucking plain, cut and dry, shall not be infringed. Meaning, don't fuck with it. They say that uh, you know, the big argument is we don't need weapons of, of war to go hunting. There's nothing in the fucking se in the Constitution about hunting. It's not about hunting. It's about resisting a tyrannical government. Whether it's foreign or domestic. They just fought the fucking Revolutionary War. Right? And they called up individuals to be the militia. They didn't have, and the militia guys brought their own guns with them. They didn't have huge stock stockpiles of weapons back then to be able to just go, ah, okay, you're in the... I mean, if they were doing that, they'd have been in the Continental Army, not the militia. The militia is just the local dudes saying, hey, they're coming through your neighborhood. I say, oh, fuck, no, they're not coming through my neighborhood, motherfuckers. Great, me and my neighbors, we'll band together. Well, probably not my neighbors. Not that I don't have good neighbors. I have good neighbors. All right? Just most of them, I, I wouldn't put a gun in their hands. Some of them tend to be a little more on the liberal side, and that's fine. We still get along. It's okay to have different opinions and, uh, you know, values than your neighbors or your friends or your family. And still get along. You can have a discussion and not have it descend into, you know, all this whole big offensive bullshit like they're doing today. It's ridiculous. Everyone's getting banned or getting in trouble because your opinion's different than mine. And that offends me. I almost the only, only the liberals that uh, get offended. Conservatives don't get offended. I mean, I, I take that back. Um, we do get offended. And we move on with our lives. We see a, you know, a TV show that we don't like because we think it's stupid or it offends us, it goes against our values. We don't start a campaign to get it banned so that nobody can watch it. We understand that, I guess I shouldn't say we, that's too broad a general, generalization. Me, right? If I'm flipping through the dial on my satellite radio in the car and I, and I come up on a, a liberal talk show and they're all blah, 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 blah. Bullshit, bullshit, lies, 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 blah, blah, blah. And granted, that's not just a liberal. I could flip to a conservative show and it would also be blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, blah, 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 lie, 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 blah, blah, blah. But for the most part, I don't know, I try to be a straight shooter and just call things like I see them, as you could probably tell. And if you don't like it, don't watch it. I mean, fuck, I only have 20 subscribers. <laughs> not like my message is huge and really getting out there and changing the world. No, man, I'm entertaining myself. And again, I bring you fuckers along for the ride. And sometimes I complain, well, a lot of times I complain about stupid shit that I think is dumb. But it's, I'm not trying to ban it. I'm not. You know, I, I, I understand and, and, and I fought for freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion. All the amendments. All of it. It's what you do when you serve in the military. You're fighting for other people's rights. 
the right to call you a warmongering baby killer or whatever the fuck they want to say. I don't care. That's, that's your right. You're mm, entitled to your opinions. But so is everybody else. All right? The rights don't just apply to specific groups. They're for everyone. So this whole deplatforming and, and demonetizing YouTube and all this kind of shit. Just change the channel. All right? It's not that hard. There's all, I mean, we got these fucking remotes today that do all kind of crazy shit. But every remote for every TV that I've ever seen has a channel button. You can just change the channel. I got like 1,800 goddamn channels. I think I watch about 12. Because those are the 12 channels that have the shows on that I like. And I don't even watch the news. Unless I'm at my parents' house, because they watch the news. And, and I'll be like reading my book, and say, like, oh, the news is on. And they'll go, boop, boop. And I'll put the news on. So it'll, it'll be... Uh, be on in the background. Sometimes you can't help but hear it. And that's okay. Uh, KFC to test vegan chicken sandwich called the imposter. Well, they better make sure that it's clear that it's That it's not a chicken sandwich. Because that's, uh. I don't know. Uh, there's a bunch of weird shit. So I, I got off on my rant. I got tired of it. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. A woman who suffered 13 miscarriages in 10 years celebrates Miracle Baby. It's. And it shows. Dude, the baby's like. That's about the size of her hand. <laughs> She's got. You know, it shows, like, holding the, the, the baby, and the two fingers, like, holding it like, on its head like that, snuggling it in it close, are about the size of the baby's head. That thing is tiny. So, shit, fight the good fight, tiny baby. Good for you. I don't know, there's not a whole lot more... On here, these fuck, and this thing just got huge. And where's the the little, the little blurbs? God damn it! See, the shit refreshes in a weird way while I'm fucking looking at it, and then shit disappears. I hate that. You shut up. Doodly do. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Not really. This is getting getting kind of long. Star's husband admits lapse in judgment. Okay. Who the fuck hasn't had a lapse in judgment? Everyone's had a lapse in judgment. You know? Good judgment comes from experience. Right? Experience comes from bad judgment. <laughs> it's how it works. Guess what? I have good judgment. <laughs> now, at almost 50, now I have good judgment. Why? Because I've had a lot of bad judgment. Or, as they like to call it, a lapse in judgment. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love these ones. Bradley Cooper, who? That's all it says. <laughs> I'm not sure I know who Bradley Cooper is. So I would probably agree with that one. Got one here It says, he did what on a plane? Okay. Classic car had human ashes. Like melted into the steel that made it. Was that like great grandpa's dying request or something? Evil Dead Star, why I did it. They paid him. That's why he did it. 
That's, uh, that's why most actors act in movies and shit, because they get paid. It's their job. Why was I flying helicopters as a commercial pilot? They paid me. Why was I a flight instructor teaching other people to fly helicopters? They paid me. I'm Marine Corps. Why did I go to work every morning? They paid me. Police officer. Why did I go to work? They paid me. Uh, firearms instructor. They paid me. This gunsmith. Why do I fix guns? Because people pay me. That's why everyone does their job. Because they get paid. Now, granted, even if I didn't get paid, uh, I'd still be working on guns. In fact, most of the guns I work on, I don't get paid for. Um, it gives me something to do. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, you know, it, it's it's basically friends and family and, and friends of family. So mostly I'll, I'll charge for parts. Uh, I, I like to work with the original parts, modify them, trigger jobs, you know, change the engagement angle slightly, polish all the fucking surfaces so that shit's slick as glass. Maybe you snip off a quarter, quarter coil on the uh, on the hammer spring just to lighten it up slightly so there's not so much pressure pushing on the, the, the hammer sear engagement. You know, I mean, I'm not taking like half an inch off. I'm take, talking like one twist of the fucking spring. You cut off like half a fucking twist or a quarter of a twist. And that's it, you know. And then you, you, you take a little bit off the sear so it's not such a long travel. Um, not so much that, you know, any shock is going to set it off. Um, make the hammer drop. But... It's, it's kind of common practice. You can replace the springs. You can put in a new spring kit with a lighter weight spring. But a lot of times, just taking off half a coil will accomplish the same thing and cost nothing in parts. Now, if they want specific parts replaced, want a new style trigger or a different hammer, a lot of different hammer styles, you know, you got the skeletonized versions, you got different, um, you know, different profiles, shit like that. If you're looking for an aesthetic look or looking for something that, that's going to function a little better for you, maybe it's an older hammer and it's just a little fucking nub and you can't quite get your thumb on there, so you want a longer fucking hammer spur on the top there so you can cock the gun easier. You shut up. You know, we can replace the hammer. <clears throat> but if you're just trying to lighten the trigger pull slightly, uh, a lot of times just polishing up all the parts is uh, is is more than enough to to get that. You know, take the gritty feel out of your trigger and uh, and and make it a, a bit smoother. So shit like that, yeah, that's just polishing. I'm not gonna charge people for that. I mean, I probably should. If I had like an actual like shop shop, then yeah, I'd probably charge. But I'd have a bunch of strangers bringing me shit. For now, it's just you know, friends and family, and friends of family. They'll bring me stuff, and I'll charge them for the parts. Anything I gotta pay out of pocket, guess what? <laughs> I'm not paying for your gun parts. All right, I think that's reasonable. But uh, I'll invest the time because it gives me shit to do. Right now I'm doing this. And this is probably my longest video ever. Nah, I'm at 34. <laughs> if you're here still, sorry. But we did some headlines, right? A little bit of gun stuff. And that's cool. Maybe next video I'll just talk about gun stuff. I don't know. We're going to talk about helicopters. Let me know. Leave a comment. If you're still watching, comment below. I'm not pointing at my dick. <laughs> you know, down lower in the, uh, down below the whole video thing. If you scroll all the way to the fucking bottom, there's a comment section. If you want me to talk about something specific, tell me. 
because the news does get kind of boring. Yeah, there's a lot of funny shit on here, but doing the same thing, I guess. A lot of stories are the same or very similar, and that can get boring. If you're still here after 35 minutes and you want me to talk on a specific topic, let me know. I'll be happy to. Till then, so long, fuckers. <laughs>